Good morning. We got here last night down to Foul Furious Lease and uh, finally got set up in my blind and made all kinds of noise. Have a new pop up blind in the mirror step. It's got those Velcro windows. And uh, I opened the windows and stuff and I just sat down. Finally, being still, and I looked over and here's a big old black board beside me. So, man, we got to rocking really fast last night. So, uh, I went ahead and we, we tracked on in over here, found some blood but it was dark by the time Butch was done hunting. So we decided to take this opportunity to train our new tracking dog. He's done really good on birds and stuff. Now it's time to teach him how to trail blood trails for hogs and deer. So come along with us while we go try to find my big board to hound. Woohoo! See what house shorty does. Let's go, come on. Rip it off and put it on his nose. Okay. Find the pig, sure. Find the pig. He's right, wasn't he? He went through. Here, look at him. Mm -hmm. He stopped right here for a minute.
though we're on the other road. Okay. You got blood right there? Get him, Shorty. Get him. Woo! All right. Get that pig. And, yeah, he got some cutters on him a little bit. Quarter and away shot here. Yeah, he dead. Big time dead. He's been here. Whew. Dog, you did good. You got your pig. Good boy. Mama got all bloody, though. Good dog. Yeah, there is a good. That, is a, that broadhead sticking out right here. Be careful. That, that's yuck. Yeah. Broadhead's right here. It was a good quarter and away shot. Nice boar. Woo. Well, Shorty's doing good on his tracking, I tell you. Until we got right up to where the pig was. I just happened to be taller than him and saw it. So we're going to drag this big boy out and we're going to get some pictures here. Do a little film and show you what we did. How, to, how we use this, these products that we love so much. So stay tuned. We'll be back. <coughs> good dog, Shorty. Whenever we have a pretty good sized boar, we'll back off and leave them until morning because they're too big to eat anyway. Whenever they're over 200. But he ran about 100 yards. That's a little further than what I like to see him go. Got our pig out here where we can get a good look at him. Here we go. This is uh, the exit wound. It was a quarter and away shot. So it was pretty good. I, if it would just been a little lower, he'd have dropped a little faster for us. And our tracking dog, Shorty the Wonder Dog, did a great job. On it. This is a second track on a hog. We're, we, we're Butch and Wendy's Hunting Adventures. And we're out here trying to take down some deer and hogs. Just today is first day of gun season here in Texas. But uh, I quit playing with guns a long time ago because I fell in love with my Horton crossbows. I've shot several of these models. They've been wonderful to me. Taking them all over the world. This is a Horton Legend Pro. As you can see, it's got the power to do what I need it to do. Hogs are pretty tough. And uh, on white tail deer, that arrow whizzes through so fast, you can't hardly see it. So that's good. I want, I want plenty of power whenever I'm out in the field to take things down. Also, I used a, a Horton Aluminum Strike Arrow. It's a 2216. I like it because of the day orange fletchings and the yellow because I have a hard time finding arrows out here in the green. We stay pretty green down here in deep south Texas. It was topped with a Muzzy 125 grain four blade broadhead. They're bad through the bone and that's why I use them. If they can take down hogs like that and give me a blood trail, that's what I'm interested in. Plus their quality and quantity for the money. And as much as I hunt, that's what I need. Well, today is uh, November 8th, 7th. Today's November 7th, 2009. Got in, we just got in. We drove four hours down south here. Just got up in my blind, was rearranging that new blind windows and stuff. Got my camera set up and poof, there he was, a gift from God. 6.15, I'd already shot and I just got in the blind at six o'clock. It was a great evening down here in South Texas. Stay tuned, because maybe tonight we'll get us a deer or another hog, because we switched stands. Woohoo! South Texas, we're rocking. <laughs>